I think the hardest part about considering hospice care is the realization that you're dealing with an end of life situation. With my mother, she had Alzheimer's. And so for 13 years, we watched a steady progression. And so our hospice moment was a relief. It was really a relief that she was no longer trapped in a body that couldn't remember anything and couldn't even know who we were, although I never really thought she didn't know who we were. With my stepfather, it was funny, he wasn't the ideal hospice patient. He fought it. He didn't think he needed that kind of care. And yet, James came and saw him on a regular basis and became his buddy. And the moments that they shared together and the patience that he had with my dad was truly amazing. So I had v very different kind of moments with each of them because their situations were really very, very different. I cannot even imagine what that process would be like if I had not had hospice in my life. And I don't want to think about ever having to go through something like that again without them. Every aspect of care you need is going to be there for you. The hand holding, the medical care, it's all there. And I think some people are afraid of the word hospice because they know we're talking about the end of life. But one of the wonderful things that they do is they help you understand and accept what that end of life can look like and how it can be. And I don't think most of us know that going in. If I had to sum up hospice in one word, it would be compassionate.